Hello everyone, and welcome to an episode of Mashup. Uh, this is something I want to start doing with characters. I just think it would be kind of fun. Essentially, the idea is we take a popular franchise, such as Marvel or Star Wars or DC or whatever, and we start mixing and matching Fortnite characters with them and making entirely new skins. The idea came about because, well, in the new Marvel season, there are multiple mashup skins with Fortnite characters. Captain America Jonesy, Peel Vereen, and some from the past, such as Ravenpool, Deadpool Team Leader, and the Bright Bomber Captain America skin. I'm sure there's more that I am missing, but yeah, this is a pretty cool concept, and I think it makes a lot of sense to just make a series out of it. So if we can get to, say, um, 200 likes on this video, then I think I'll be picking the top five comments in the comment section down below to make into mashups. So pick your favorite Fortnite skin and your favorite, mm, let's do another Marvel episode. So give me your favorite Fortnite character and your favorite Marvel character down below, and I will pick the top five comments to do on the next one. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Yeah, so for our first character, I wanted to go over Dr. Sloan. So Dr. Sloan is one of my favorite characters. She's part of the storyline. She was a big villain character uh, for a really, really long time. And I decided to combine her with one of Marvel's greatest villains, Ultron. Now her design was originally going to be a lot more muscular, closer to Ultron, but I decided to keep her more slimmed down or she wouldn't have really looked like Sloan. I went with slimmer arms and slimmer legs, but added bulkiness in areas that made sense. First of all, I wanted to make her pose with her cape. Uh, Ultron has a cape, and I wanted to give her a cape, uh, which you'll see in just a second. Her cape is going to sort of come out of where her tie is. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. Um, I gave her circuitry, and her arm is sort of pieced together like it's not fully human and not fully robot, uh, an android, if you will, uh, you know, like, like Ultron is. So, yeah, so I gave her her shirt, and I gave her pants, but I ended up going with a more short design for her pants. It's the same pants that she normally wears, but it's shorts to show off her robot legs. Uh, the colors for this are just the exact same. You, you really could, and I probably would, give a different color scheme. Uh, maybe that'll be at the end. I'm not totally sure yet. Um, but yeah, the hair is pretty simple. The body's pretty simple. It's just a really cool pose with a really cool look, if you ask me. It, it definitely a pretty cool android look. Wire circuitry. Humanoid looking. And that helmet there, that is actually a mask. That is a helmet that's going over her head. And you can actually see her mouth in there uh, for just a little bit here and there. Coloring is pretty fun. I like coloring a lot, and the shading, uh, which we'll get to at the very end, is, is very simple shading. For all these characters, we just do white uh, for the shine. Pretty fun, pretty fun. But yeah, as you can see, I was originally going to give her her actual uh, like big rain boots that she has, but uh, I went with the more spring trap looking feet, which I actually, I actually really like the way that looks, to be honest. Uh, wires and circuitry and, and little bits here and there. I did color her boots, as you can see, to look like her boots from her original model, and there is her black cape, which on the back would have a IO looking thing. Dr. Sloan X Ultron, AKA Sloantron. So, the next one on our list is a pretty cool one, uh, the Chaos Agent. Now the Chaos Agent is a pretty cool skin. They reskin him every once in a while. And you know, I always thought his little goo, uh, ghostly look is, something you could really utilize in other situations. So I've decided to pair him up with the Human Torch. Uh, as well, the Human Torch did not come in the Battle Pass. Uh, and I'm very sad about that. So I've decided to turn his body from that goo into flames, like it has been ignited, and whatever he was made out of was flammable. It exploded part of his suit, and so the front of his mask is, well, just that, just the front. He doesn't have a full helmet, and his little tubes on the side are also burnt out and spewing fire as well. Now the fire, fire is something I have to not totally gotten down uh, in terms of the art style. I think this is pretty close to what I want to go for from here on out, is sort of a very loose looking flame where the color fills it in a lot more than 
how the actual uh, line art does. Uh, I went back and forth on how I was going to do his gloves. Uh, they were originally going to be... He was going to look a lot more like a traditional Fantastic Four costume with white gloves and the white uh, neck piece and the white boots and everything, but I wanted to keep his suit intact. So I decided to ditch that and make it a vest. So, yeah, and this was me changing up the little vent at the front. I still don't totally like the vent. It's kind of just a flat circle facing straight towards the camera when he's not facing straight towards the camera. So I, I'd like to fix that, but I don't in this video. So maybe one day I'll fix it and just post it on the community tab or something. But he's pretty simple. Uh, he's just a, a fire version for the most part. Uh, changing his colors up to be more blue is a lot is pretty cool. I don't know if it's in the video. I don't remember, but I did do it. Started out with more grayscale colors so that I can change it around whenever I want and as I please. His thing, which I don't think you really get to see until the end right here, his vest has the bits on his normal suit, which go back as the little tails and they turn into flames. This was me trying to experiment with smoke. I didn't like any of it, so I ditched the smoke. Uh, so something you can't tell is he doesn't actually have legs that go into those feet. He's actually hovering just above them with the flames coming out. Chaos Agent X Human Torch, AKA Chaos Flame. The next one I actually forgot to hit record on or I hit record and didn't work. I don't really know. Anyway, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur would be up next and they would be going with Giddy Up. Moon Girl is a show that I haven't watched, but I think it looks visually very awesome and I need to watch it very soon. But anyway, she would of course have the Giddy Up style thing going on. A costume where it looks like someone is riding something else. She would be riding Devil Dinosaur and it would be pretty cool. She would be on top with her arms and little inflatables for her legs and Devil Dinosaur would be a body in between her and it would also act as the legs. She would of course be wearing her rollerblade outfit and of course would also be cell shaded. She would have an extremely powerful color palette, super bright, even more bright than most superhero costumes and other cell shaded characters as well. I was even thinking maybe you could give her some sort of slightly animated shader where it looks like she's scribbled on the page, like she kind of looks like in her show. Of course, this would be a little bit more difficult to do, but I think it would look a lot better than just the regular cell shaded, and maybe could even be reused for characters later down the line if they wanted to. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur x Giddy Up, aka Dino Up. So, for our last one, we have a Juggernaut variant. So, Juggernaut is a character I really like to see in this game, and um, well, I, I actually thought of this completely off the top of my head. I didn't even really plan this one. Uh, I just wanted a fourth one and just thought Juggernaut would be cool, and a Llama would be cool too, so let's just put them together. Uh, the Llama is his helmet, as you can see, so the, the Llama itself might be sentient, who knows? But uh, there is a man inside of it, uh, and you can see that. Maybe it's Juggernaut, maybe it's... I don't know, the spirit of the llama has become a human, I don't know. But uh, this this uh, this was a good a good drawing for me because I have I don't do a whole lot of anatomy sort of drawings and this is a extremely anatomical, um, Juggernaut is very massive and you really really have to get down into what that means for uh, his body shape. Now I didn't know exactly how I wanted to do the uniform juggernaut is pretty standard it's just like a red outfit but he has those rings so what i decided to do was give him combat gloves like bash does but then also give him rings around his biceps to sort of go with that and so that is what i ended up doing now he does have the legs and everything he sort of has one solid color but i ended up giving him knee pads and boots that he doesn't normally have. Bash has those knee pads, and I gave him Juggernaut's big, huge boots. So it's a little bit of a mix in terms of uniform. I I even wanted to go back and maybe add like a belt or something, uh, but I, I I decided against it. I thought the belt maybe would have been too much. So um, yeah, so I went with I didn't go with Bash's color scheme. I went with the the typical llama scheme for color. 
uh, for the purples, and then I just took the red straight off of Juggernaut. I think the combination of the two actually works quite well. I was not expecting it to work very well, but it, I think it ended up going uh, pretty, pretty well, uh, if you ask me. So anyway, yeah, that is Bash and Juggernaut as a Fortnite skin. Bash X Juggernaut, AKA Bash or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, uh, this is the first in a series. So if you guys want to comment your favorite Fortnite character and your favorite Marvel character down below that you would like to see mashed together and you might just get it in the next one. I just want to say a really quick thank you seriously to everybody the last two videos. They've blown up. They've gone insane. I don't know what's going on, but uh, th thank you for being here. It, feels, it, makes, me feel, it makes me feel really good. To, I'm, I'm a New Yorker now. Um, yeah, seriously, though, it's awesome. I, I got some crazy ideas, things that are supposed to be coming out next week. I'm working on, like, three videos at once right now uh, just because I, I want to try and keep up with this weekly thing. I think it's I think it's really... I think you guys are really liking that. So, uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys uh, hopefully next week. And if you're watching this the day it comes out, I will be streaming Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, just, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned for that. Okay? Just stay, stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Hey, just stay tuned. It's going to be pretty freaking sick.